Hey guys, it's Future Inventions here, and I'm going to show you how to make, whoops, an iPod stand, an iPod touch stand, that, whoops, that looks just like this. It's very sturdy. You can push on it, and you can put your iPod on there, watch videos. Um, I'm using a slanted surface for uh this tutorial so it will slide and you can see I can um oops watch videos go in landscape do anything if it's on a flat surface so here's I'll show you all the way around it so that's pretty much it just making it less slanted, I'm sorry. So, um, what you're going to want to do is, uh, print out any design on photo paper, and you should have something small that looks like that. Now, I'll get the exact measurements in a second. Let me just measure my old one. So, uh, I find that, um, that approximately four and a half inches and uh, by three inches works well um, if you're not in the US it's approximately uh, let's see here 11 centimeters by eight centimeters so um, now we're just going to measure this out and then cut it. So what was the first one? Four and a half, I believe. I'll just go with 11 centimeters. So I decided I'm going to make a cut right here. Okay, I got a pen. You're also going to need scissors for this too. So make a mark where you want to cut it. Then get your scissors and of course cut it. So I cut that and um, it is already around eight centimeters. Um, I would say not really eight, but maybe seven. It is already at uh, three centimeters, I mean three inches there, so that's good. Now the first thing you're going to want to do with your piece now that you have it like this, just put it, flip it on the back and um, go like this. Let me just position it correctly and fold and fold. Now I actually found out how to do this from uh, someone named iPodkin iPodkin uh, kid iPodkid I don't know why I said kin but uh, I found out how, how to make um, how to do this he has a video on how to do it with uh, a regular playing card and uh, you spell his name I P A W D kid so go check him out and subscribe to him he has really nice videos so now that you have these two creases you're sort of gonna wanna fold them sort of like this and get this you might want to push more here so this is there we go you want to get this sort of thing here now what you're gonna want to do is um, take this fold it up a little bit and then once it's folded up Fold it like that, and then fold it again so it looks just like this. 
and that will hold your iPod securely. So now you have it, and it will hold your iPod, but we're not exactly done yet. Now if you're worried about the ink getting on your iPod, uh, a good idea would be actually to tape this. So that's one way reason why we need the tape. And another is to make this sturdier. So what we're going to do is take some tape, maybe about this much, and then take it, put one end, whoops, put one end on one side and the other over here. So it looks sort of like this. Now this will prevent it from going down. So now you can put your iPod on it and it won't fall at all. It won't bend, it won't fall. And that makes it very nice and stable. So um, I'll try to get a picture of this up somehow, maybe on a website that I make. But if I do, I'll have a link in the description over here or over here. So now, uh, guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and um, I'll catch you later. But uh, if you still want to watch this, I'm just going to show taping it. Oops. Be careful when you tape it, because you might pull some ink off, which is what I did last time. And it wasn't pretty. So make sure you position it correctly before you actually put it on there. Now this won't look as good as it would uh, if you didn't tape it, but I think it's worth it if you don't want to uh, get your iPod all messed up. I just realized that um, my that it's a little messed up, but hey, I did this on camera. Okay, so there we have it. It looks okay. You can see the little tape marks and everything, but oh well.